So. Okay, everyone, I'm going to go and give this a try. This is Kevin Coriel, the founder of Draxus Web Productions. <laughs> it's been some time since I was last on Earth. Eh, it looks much the same. The Minions have spawned. Got the soul. If I set this up right, I should be able to go ahead and archive what we're doing here automatically, and thus it'll end up on YouTube. So. herself and damages enemies that come in. It's also as you see built yeah! asleep. The second one powers Let's up her basic up. attack. Her next basic attack will explode. Um, if enemies are called in the middle of that, they will go and um, be slowed and damaged. She disapparates and her trail damages the enemies when it blows up. Or she has her ultimate, which can be aimed. As you can see, fires about eight shots, I believe it is. Very normal in that. So, now. Sorry about the yawning. I'm doing this at 4.45 a.m. as part of um, the Extra Life 24 hour gaming marathon. And I've already been going for about almost five hours now. Anyway, here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is get her the Shoes of the Magi. I know this one's a little bit more expensive, but the reason I get it is for the plus 10 penetration. Um, she gets extra magical power with it, the 45 magical power. Um, the lower one I think is 20, no, no, 40, and cooldown reduction, which is nice. But I like it because I like the penetration. Penetration works really good with soul. Some damage? So I get her the shoes <laughs> the More please. Um, next, I'm looking at um, next I'm looking at the Polynomicon. 
This gives you 75 magical power, 300 mana, and it gives you some magical life steal as well. Love magical life. <sighs> Excuse me. Love magical life steal with her. Um, with her big area of effect spells taken out of Passive on this is when you use an ability, your next attack within 8 seconds gets um, plus 75% of your magical power as additional magical damage. So, that's going to give you good um, Yes, this I like! Um, if you look at this now, hit LB, and that first shot does not take Polynomicon, that one does. So it's just to show you, got 72 damage, hit that, 68, and then 77. Magical power gives you 300 health, gives you 400 mana. You're going to permanently gain 3 health and 6 magical power per stack, and receive 5 stacks for a god kill, 1 stack per minion kill. Max of 100 stacks. So that's going to help you out real good. That's going to give you another 300 health and another possible. 600 power, if I'm reading this right. Um, I might be missing some points in there or something that's kind of blurry at 4.45 a.m. But anyway, I like adding this in. One of the next things I add in is going to be the Book of Toss. This is another 125 mana. Gives you MP5. Gives you 100 magical power. So you're stacking your magical power up here. Again, some good boom for your buck. But then your passive, you permanently gain 10 mana per stack. You see, 5 stacks for a god kill, 1 stack for a minion kill. But 3% of your mana is converted to magical power. So that blue bar on the bottom, you're adding to the mana here. So anything you add to that blue bar, 3% of it is being turned into magical power for you. Which is just more boom for your buck. Now, Rather of this Aslepius. You have another 75 magical power. 250 health. Get some movement speed going on. And then the Helian health regeneration of allies within 70 units is increased. So Healing for every one of the road <laughs> is increased. And if you remember, this one, your first one, the LT, this heals you. 
so rather so if a scup yes should help you with healing. Hold up. That heals you. Um, let's see. Now, last but not least, this is one of the major ones. As you saw, we already put your mana into magical power. The Ethereal Staff gives you another 30 magical power. Gives you another 400 health on top of it. And another 300 mana. At this point, it has a passive that 2.5% of your maximum health is converted to magical power. We're going to add yes, that. This I like. Between these things, we have 45 magical power, 145 magical power altogether, um, Two twenty magical power. Two seventy magical power. Three hundred magical power. Around three seventy five magical power if I'm doing my math correctly, which I may not be at five AM. Um around three hundred magical power right there. Now, you're taking 3% of the mana, which is your blue line, which is over 2,400, it looks like. I can't quite see it from back where I'm sitting. But you're taking 3% of that, adding that to your magical power, too. But you're also taking 2.5% of your green line, your health line. Which is 2,850. You're taking 2.5% of that and adding it to your magical power, too. So, you're getting some good magical power there. We're going to come in here and show you how much of a difference this is making. Remember, we hit for like 74 or something earlier? 139, 140, 141. Now here's one of the great things. You hit What's this, that brings your fire up. Now this, all of your hits are getting more and more powerful. Oh, she's got two fires. We're up to 217. And that. fires go yeah. this yeah. is how you take yeah. down the yeah. um, phoenixes yeah. from your little flame on the so, I mean... Ooh, ha, a little unstable. You go yeah. and get some major bonuses there. Hey, now I'm angry. Now remember, if you miss... If you miss, it goes and takes your power down. Or if you're 
not firing, it takes your power down. glass cannon. She's all power. Her power does give her some fighting skill with having almost 3,000 hit points. I mean, she, she can hold her own in the fight if need be. The thing is, though, she's also a mage. A lot of people can penetrate mage defenses really easily, especially anyone with physical powers. So, if you've got Loki after you, and he teleports in, <laughs> even if he misses, chances are, if you try to do a one verse one on him, you'll be screwed. But here's her good thing. I've gotten very good at running away with her. Someone teleports in on you, this it hits them. Then you do your dis disapparate. People, if they follow you in a straight line, are gonna get hit with that explosion of life. I can't tell you how many gods I have killed just by doing that alone. The other good thing is your um, ultimate here. It's eight and it's I can hit it, and then drag, and follows that path. So... This is a cooldown. No, that wasn't a cooldown. Maybe that's what green is. Okay, green is cooldown. Awesome. So, while you're escaping, if you pull your... Um... Targeting back to yourself. And you can release it. And your ultimate will follow right behind you. So if someone is right on your butt and you release that, you release that while you're walking to. I mean, you can basically release all of her things except. This. I mean, that doesn't really do much. You can only get it in front of you. But other than that, you've got three options of things that you can fire off as you run. And of those three options, I have killed quite a few other gods just by supposedly running away. Once they see a mage run away, they're going to chase. They almost always do. But this way you can show them, hey, I've got some teeth when running away too, so don't get too cocky. Um, I love playing a soul. Not too many people play as her anymore. Um, and anyway, that's our first little video. I hope you guys like it. Um, I haven't really had a chance to use Twitch much. And that was it. Doing that with my mom's computer. I mean my wife's computer. Anyway, now that we've done that, um, we've got it set up for the archiving, so hopefully with all of our computers we can get on and set this up onto YouTube. 
Um, one last thing, relics. As you can see, I've got like fury and curse here. I don't use those anymore. Nowadays, my go-to are first meditation because you can be you can use it either to fill your mana or to fill your health or both. Um, so that's always my first relic. My second relic that I pick up for most of the people now is thorns. Thorns is really nice because as you're running away, people are taking pot shots at you. So if you pop thorns, anything that hits you, 40% of it's going back to the damager as damage, plus whatever damage you're throwing behind her for those three. So that's very nice too. Anyway, hopefully this will be up on YouTube in just a little bit. Remember, this has been the video for Extra Life. We're doing the marathon today, 24 hours of playing games. And any money we raise will go through Extra Life to our local Children's Miracle Network Hospital, which in our case, the hospital we're playing for is the Chance Children's Hospital up in Gainesville, where our son was born. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast.